Hello, I hope you can hear me. So in this video, I'm talking about solutions. There are solutions in your life. For example, if you're in one area in your life that you'd like to uh, finish, yeah, that needs to be done. And I did that this week, uh, today even. I finished my first draft of my next book, which is called The Mother's Reveal. And uh, it felt, feels so good to have that finished and done. And it's taken a lot of, you know, getting insp inspiration from that YouTube right and getting the motivation. Um, for me, I know some people may not like that word motivation, but for me, it's what I need in order to function. I need, I need that push to get whatever I need done. Um, because I do put things off. You know, I am planning to do a whole new organisation system in my work area, as I said to Neil, with my clothes and having it a lot more tidy up and easy to keep tidy. Because I'm not naturally a tidy person. I am, you know, I'm, I accumulate stuff and it's like now I feel so overcount with some of them. So I am now dealing with that and thinking about how I can still have the things I love but minimise it. And life is for lessons and when it comes to solutions, you know, grabbing ideas from YouTube, Pinterest, you know, seeing people that have already done that, you know, inspires me. Um, so, you know, I focus on one area at a time. So at the moment, as I've done since this week and two days now, I've just started making gradual changes. So I now have all my supplements in this bag and it just goes on there on my shelf there. I sorted out my pens because there was some that wasn't working and I bought some more and now I have plenty of pens to write. The next thing is my, I've also sorted out, I've got rid of one of my ink files. They're okay but they can add to clutter so I've taken one away. And now I do have a clear space on the side, and, the, and I'm doing a week and a half video um, to, sh to show that. So if you want to you know, wait for that, um, please do. But it's just making one change in your life that it makes you feel that, yes, now we're moving forward. And it doesn't mean that's it, you know, life over. It, I, I'm constantly building myself and building myself because I want to have a more happier life and at the moment i'm in a place in a good mindset and wanting to have less but have more of a functional space that's not cluttered because clutter can add to stress and and and, and stop us from um sorting out the areas in life because you know i do i put things off but when i do it gradually i find that that works for me and like Today I didn't I didn't feel like waking up on the bed, but I want you know my, I want my son to have a bed to sleep in that's made so I made it this morning. But no, I finished my draft, my first draft of the book. Now it's time to get other stuff done, and just doing a few things a day that can help as well. It depends on what works for you and what doesn't cause you stress or makes you feel good, and that's what we're going for. Um, going through. What you already have that can still be good, be more resourceful. Resourceful. And what I mean by that is going to sort out my wardrobe. For example, like I said, I'm going to be doing a big, massive uh, detox of my wardrobe and go through stuff that I haven't worn and to keep, make sure I wear them and to stop myself from from impulse shopping and. Making sure I've got enough pens to write with. I've got my jewellery. Um, I don't need any more jewellery now. I don't, I'm not going to buy any more because I've got enough. Um, I'm going to you know, recycle as much as, 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 as I can. So that my, you know, I, I, the notebooks that I've kept, I'll, I'll the ones that I want to use. But, and then, I, and then, so I'm making sure that I use those as well. But I'm trying to 
have one system. But I use my notebooks for my books and planning and have my dark weather facts as well. I do my finances, um, my daily you know, errands, stuff like that, uh, in one place. Um, and that idea came from Sarah Sigal, who does brilliant YouTube, channel, YouTube videos. Very inspirational. I'll add that link to her video uh, below. Um, and but using what you've got, go through what you've got that can still be of use and not throw away. Um, I, you know, I, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I am. Um, and I suppose that's wrong for me to say from the time labour and stuff, but I'm getting better, and I'm realising that stuff doesn't make me happy. It's what that is items mean and how they function for me, and that's what I'm going with now. Um. I like to have a small amount of, I like to have more space, which is what, you know, why I'm envisioning a bit of a makeover in my room, starting with my workstation. Um, and I like to give myself a visible makeover, and if there's something to get me down, I would wear makeup, but I, my hay fever this year has been really pretty bad, and my skin's not, has, been quite dry. Um, I do wear it and I love putting on makeup, it's just that my, my skin doesn't like it all the time and it's not that I'm, I don't want to put on or I want to look like I'm tired because sometimes makeup can help with that. It's just my skin, it, I mean, it's so sensitive that I can't wear makeup all the time and also hair growth there, I hated it so much and if I put makeup on after I've dehaired my lips Sometimes it can cause irritation. So, but you know, using what I've got like today, I've gone for the headbands, I've got a cap, and just you know, making myself feel good without makeup. Um, but putting it on when I go out, like uh, for example, this weekend we're going to a uh, a fun day at uh, a local gold um, a venue, and uh, so I'll be putting makeup up on for that. Uh, but I can't wear it all the time, but I do do like it, but I don't buy a lot for makeup, and that's one thing that I'm quite good at, is knowing what I've got that I don't need that much of, so until I use up all my makeup that I've got up there, I'm not buying another, I do need, well, saying that I do need some concealer, but only one or two items, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need loads of makeup palettes when I've got two that and or three that I can use which do the job. I mean the one one of them that I use doesn't always stay on. But perhaps that's the primer I'm using, I don't know. And I you know, uh, it doesn't bother me as such. It's just if you know, I put it on the morning and it's gone before I leave him. But it depends. If I'm going out and leaving then I'll put it on before I go out but not during the but in the morning anyway. So it's not really an issue, uh, but it does make myself feel good, and I did myself a photo book. Um, I was using images on my photos to make myself feel good if I have those days where I'm not feeling so great about myself, and it has worked. I wish I could show you it, but at the moment I can't remember where I put it. See, and I find these are stuff so I can find these things and show them. So um, I hope that's given you some inspiration as well, and I really hope that you are having a um, a bad time as well. My heart goes out to you, and just live each day as it comes, and people to support you, and to love, and uh, even if this helps just one person, then that means the world to me. And but I would like you to subscribe. So if you like to subscribe, please do, and like this video, and. Uh, there will be more to come. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you again.